When you're looking to start a new 3D printing project, one of the first questions you want to ask is which material is best for your specific application. Sometimes you may only need a specific color and mechanical properties aren't so important, like for form prototypes or gently used finished parts. But when you need something to be strong, flexible, or chemically resistant, you need to have a clear way to compare those different properties. To make your material selection process easier, the experts at Matter Hackers have created Radar Graphs, a rigorously tested visual guide to the physical properties of every Pro Series material. Let's dive into the details. We considered many different factors that may impact the usability of a given material and boiled it down to six categories. Printability, tensile strength, flexural strength, impact resistance, heat resistance, and chemical resistance. Taking a look at the Pro Series PLA radar graph, you can see that it has a high score for printability, but a low score for heat resistance. You can quickly understand the strengths and weaknesses of the material and know whether you should consider it for the project at hand. Now that you understand radar graphs as a whole, let's take a look at each individual point on the graphs. Printability is our way of qualifying how easy it is to 3D print with the material. Not all materials are created equal, and some may need to be printed at hotter temperatures or have special hardware requirements. For example, PLA has a 5, which means that the material would be able to be printed on virtually every machine out there, but ABS has a 2, because it needs an enclosure to maintain a specific ambient temperature, a bed temperature higher than 90 degrees Celsius, and requires a build surface other than glass to stick well enough. If a material has a low printability rating, it doesn't mean it's impossible, you just need the right equipment, like the appropriate bed surface or hot end configuration, and the knowledge to succeed. Matter Hackers is committed to helping you with that, so be sure to check out our How to Succeed articles for every material. Tensile strength is all about how resistant parts are to being pulled apart. Every material is tested using ASTM and ISO methods in a universal testing machine, by pulling apart a specific model and measuring how much force was applied when it failed. A high scoring material like Tough PLA will be able to withstand significant force before snapping, whereas a lower scoring material like Flex will break much sooner. Of course, printing orientation, nozzle size, and the number of perimeters will all affect the tensile strength of a finished 3D print. At a glance, a material with a score of 5 is in the 80 to 99th percentile of all the materials we have tested, and conversely a 1 has an average in the 0 to 19th percentile. Flexural strength is how resistant a part is to breaking when a force is attempting to bend it away from its printed shape. Just as with tensile strength, ASTM and ISO methods are used in a universal testing machine to measure how much a material can bend before breaking or deforming. A low score bends significantly, but a high score won't bend much at all. PLA has a high score as it bends very little before breaking, whereas TPU scores very low because it doesn't take much force at all to deform. Impact resistance qualifies how resistant a part is to breaking from a single hard hit. High scoring materials like TPU are ideal for parts that are subjected to momentary impacts and take exceptional scenarios to break. Low scoring filament like PLA indicates that a short drop might be all it takes to shatter the 3D print. Think about tensile strength as the ability to support force over a long period of time, whereas impact resistance focuses on not deforming when that same force is applied instantaneously. A quadcopter doesn't need to hold up to continuous weight but it does need to be able to handle a crash into a wall or into the ground. Heat resistance is how resistant a part is to deforming due to heat. The more heat required to deform the part, the higher it scores. A high score is important in engine bays or autoclaves as low scores like PLA can deform from just being inside a car on a hot day. For reliable long-term use of your printed parts, the temperature of its environment is an important consideration to make for success. Chemical resistance tells you if parts can be safely exposed to chemicals without degrading. The list of chemicals we compare materials to is extensive and based on the percentage of chemicals that the filament doesn't react to, earns it its score. Keep in mind that there are many different types of chemicals like oils, solvents, acids, and bases, so one material may score lower than another, but have a select few chemicals that it has no reaction to that the other material does, like ABS dissolving in acetone, but nylon doesn't even flinch. Finding the right material for the job can be challenging, which is why the pros at Matter Hackers are always looking for ways to make it as easy as possible for anyone to create anything. With the help of these radar graphs, you should be able to determine the right material for your project. But if you need some extra guidance, our team will always be ready to assist you by phone or by email. To learn more about radar graphs and our Pro Series line of filament, go to matterhackers.com. Before we made our radar graphs, I hadn't actually considered how chemically resistant the most common materials I use actually are and I'm surprised to find out that they're some of the most resistant out there. If you want to read some in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com, or to stay up to date with all of our digital manufacturing content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.